So I'm plunging into something slightly ambitious. You remember that whole conversation with Peter about mixing tech with art, right? Yeah, so I was mulling it over, and I'm excited to say that I'm kickstarting a project that combines augmented reality and street art. Instead of just plain old murals on the walls, viewers can now explore the artwork interactively, thanks to some tech wizardry. I mean, imagine walking past the Flatiron building and seeing a fantastical beast roaring out of it in AR. It's my little attempt to bring some life back into our urban spaces. I can already see the cityscape transforming into an interactive art fest. Man, all this AR talk gave me a techno-inspired dream last night. I was traversing through a digital landscape, dodging pixelated aliens. Sounds like a new game idea, doesn't it? Anyway, this whole thought train started off with my chat with Nina. She's all game for this revolutionary idea. You know her. She's always up for crazy art shenanigans. We even ended up joking about opening an art-themed fast food chain. You know, art break and shake. Imagine the menu. Picasso popsicles, Warhol waffles, Dolly donuts. Oh, and of course, Art Burger, the masterpiece of the chain. Nina couldn't stop cracking up about being art breakers, breaking the norms of art, or just breaking due to the creativeness, she said. She also had this brilliant idea of using AR to highlight the beauty of New York's architectural landmarks, which is pretty awesome, to be honest. So yeah, I guess I'm kind of tech geeking right now, what with the Guggenheim piece and this new AR project. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you about this song I've been vibing to. It's Street Spirit by Radiohead. There's something hauntingly beautiful about it. Makes me want to create a piece just as impactful. Anyway, before I ramble on and forget, Nina and I need your genius ideas for our fast food art fusion. Think about it over a decent cup of coffee, my friend. Well, I guess I should dive back into the AR universe now. Got a pixelated alien race waiting for me. Damn, that would make a killer sketch. Can you believe the places art takes us? So, Art Breaker has officially turned into Art Marker. Quite the transformation, wouldn't you say? I mean, who would have thought I'd venture into the realm of digital marketing, of all things? It's bizarre in its own rights, trust me. Remember Lara from our old Yale days? Yeah, bumped into her at an exhibit and turns out she's a whiz in this domain. So we got into this fascinating discussion about how intricately art and tech need to entwine in today's world. Lara gave me some hardcore facts and laid out the nitty-gritty of online visibility, something about SEO and stuff. To be honest, sounded like she was speaking Dothraki at first. You remember that techie lingo from Game of Thrones, don't you? So for most of the part I was just nodding, pretending to comprehend everything she was saying. But hey, I did catch some nuggets of wisdom about algorithms, search engines, and whatnot. Apparently, it's all about making my art reachable to more eyes, maximizing digital footprints, or something along those lines. Man, I can't believe footprints and digital are coexisting in my head in the same sentence. Guess what? Nick is on board with this whole digital overhaul of ours. Art and enterprise, a unique mix. That's what she said when I told her about it. We had a good chortle over our concept of Art Burger going digital and making a virtual debut. We even made plans for a virtual burger museum. Can you imagine that? Oh, by the way, been vibing to this awesome track Counting Stars by One Republic. The part where he sings, Lately I've been... I've been losing sleep dreaming about the things that we could be. Really caught my attention. Feels like it's unwittingly chronicling my current journey into digital marketing, you know. Keep thinking about our fast food art fusion venture. We could use your mastermind for more hilariously creative ideas. Speaking of creative, I've got a blank canvas waiting to be turned into another masterpiece. Not to mention a heap of marketing strategies to figure out. I tell you, juggling between art and marketing is no less than an acrobat maneuvering on a tight rope. But well, the show must go on, right? So I spent my day practicing Tai Chi. It's really becoming a part of me, mixing the mindful breathing and the fluid movements. Can you imagine? Yeah, it's like an art in itself, 
a dance of tranquility amid the chaos. It's my little spot of zen in our concrete jungle. And the mentor, Chen, he's a badass in the Tai Chi world. He told me about the philosophy behind it all, and somehow it got me thinking about Newton's law. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Physics and philosophy, not a common blend, but quite Billy Joel in its own way. On a side note, Nick and I drifted into a new podcast territory, Art Uncovered. Kind of like the art world's own noir detective scene, unveiling the hidden meanings and stories behind the work of art we call our world. I told Nina about my Tai Chi endeavor, and she was all in for it. Said she'd give the whole yin-yang balancing thing a shot. So, next thing we know we're frantically planning a Tai Chi escapade. Nina and Andy, talking about tranquility and harmonizing energy. Quite the ride, don't you think? It got me picturing us doing Tai Chi in the park, moving in sync with the rustling leaves, with that classic Jeff Buckley tune, Hallelujah, playing in the background. Chaitri. So serene, so rhythmic, quite a sight to behold, I tell you. I even sold her on the idea that inner peace never goes out of style. She bought it. Hook, line, and sinker. So yes, my Tai Chi artistry is at the forefront of our adventures these days. Never thought I'd be the one giving wellness lessons. Nina even said, Who would have thought I'd get wellness lessons from an artist? Man, that cracked me up. We are in for some multi-dimensional ventures. Here's to us and our mutual crazy. Also, though it may seem unconnected, Tai Chi's simplicity kind of humbles you. It's a reminder of the basic intricacies of life. It's like a Dali art piece, surreal yet grounded, nowhere and everywhere at the same time. That reminds me. Why don't we incorporate Tai Chi somehow in our art food venture? Maybe the serving staff does the Tai Chi form while serving burgers, or the customers having to perform a move to get a discount. What say? Anywho, I've been channeling all these creative energies into my painting. So, I better let you go and immerse myself in my world of colors. Think about the Tai Chi idea and let's catch up soon.